An enema does nothing to remove toxins from your colon. So don't even go there. You don't need to get anybody to stick something up your butt in order to flush out toxins. That's not where toxins get cleaned out. If you wanna actually just be healthier overall and let your body do all the work to detoxify, here's what you do. Today we're gonna to be looking at some of the myths and truths about detoxing and cleansing. If you've been keeping up with diet trends, you'll have heard about detox diets, they're everywhere. These are the diets that claim that they can cleanse your body from toxins and pollutants that accumulate from the environment from around us, from stressful living, and also from eating unhealthy foods. And usually the detox diets make you fast. They change your diet by making you eat fruits and vegetables. And sometimes you gotta drink only water or tea and then take a bunch of supplements. Sometimes the programs even include enemas to clean the toxins out of your colon, like the tailpipe of your body. So, as a medical doctor, as a researcher, I wanna actually give you the truth behind the concept of detox. Turns out that the detox diets themselves don't do anything to remove toxins from your body. They do not remove toxins from your body. Your body actually is hardwired to remove toxins all by itself. Here's how it actually works. Your liver is a powerful detoxifying organ that removes virtually all harmful chemicals from your body. It breaks them down, it eliminates them. Your kidneys filter your blood, it produces urine, which you pee out, and often you can pee out stuff that's accumulated in your body as well. Those are two ways that your body uses to detoxify, your liver, okay, and your kidneys. And that's why, by the way, if you have liver disease or kidney disease, Oftentimes toxins do build up in your bloodstream, but really those organs are the ones that actually do all the heavy lifting. Now there are some toxins that are not so easy to get rid of, even though your body does a pretty good job to eventually get rid of a lot of it. And some of them are toxic, like heavy metals, like lead or cadmium or mercury. You can get these from foods that absorb a lot of these heavy metals from the ground, or if there's uh, they're growing in contaminated environments. Some chocolates are like this, very high in heavy metals or seafoods that are high in the food chain, if you eat a lot of it, if you eat a lot of tuna, if you eat a lot of swordfish, for example, heavy metals will accumulate in your body fat. But even then, most of it gets eliminated over time and flushed out of your body, all right? So here's the thing, your body does all the heavy lifting and there's no evidence that the detox diets themselves actually break down or remove toxins that have accumulated in your body. So. What do the detox diets actually do? Well, here's the truth. A detox diet keeps you from building up new toxins in your body. And partly it's because they stop you from eating unhealthy foods. So by going onto a plant-based whole food diet, and specifically they are removing, these detox diets are removing from you ultra-processed foods that contain artificial preservatives and additives. You're eating less toxic material to begin with. So less toxins in, gives your body a chance to naturally remove the toxins that are there without more buildup. Most detox diets also remove alcohol from your diet. Okay, now what does alcohol do? Alcohol is a toxin for your liver. So when your liver is compromised by drinking alcohol, guess what? You, your blood starts to build up more toxin because your liver doesn't function as well as it should. Out with the alcohol in a detox diet, your liver will recover. Liver is a really regenerative organ and it regains its detoxifying capacity. So yes, um, uh, by removing alcohol, you're allowing the liver to recover and then to do its thing, all right? Hey there, have you heard of intermittent fasting? I'm sure you have. It's not what you eat, but it's about when you eat. And I've got a simple guide to help you get started with intermittent fasting. If you're looking for an easy way to boost your energy and improve your health, and maybe shed a few pounds along the way, this could be the perfect solution for you. In my guide, I'm gonna show you how fasting helps your body burn fat and also repair itself. It's an easy thing that you can do effortlessly every single day. Plus, I'll give you tips on how to succeed with intermittent fasting. And I'll tell you the science behind why this works. Just click the link below to grab your free copy or scan the QR code on the screen right now. Now, let's get back to the video. The third thing is that detox diets give people permission to focus on their health. 
If you're somebody who's going on a detox diet, chances are that you're, you know, you've decided it's time to put a little attention uh, to try to get healthier. So you're going to eat less, you're going to eat more healthy foods, you're going to drink more fluids that'll flush uh, your blood, uh, use your kidneys to your, it's at their own advantage, and you're going to focus on becoming healthier. People who are naturally more focused on their health tend to have healthier behaviors and their body will respond accordingly and become healthier. By the way, an enema does nothing to remove toxins from your colon. So don't even go there. You don't need to get anybody to stick something up your butt in order to flush out toxins. That's not where toxins get cleaned out, all right? Now an enema will uh, clean out your colon, but then you know that should be something you do before a colonoscopy to check for polyps and make sure that you don't have colon cancer, all right? Just remember, an enema does not flush out accumulated toxins because your poop doesn't accumulate toxins that need to be flushed out in order for better health. Okay, so what's the best way to achieve a detox diet? Whether you go on to a, a, a prescripted diet or not, here's my recommendations. Number one, if you want to actually just be healthier overall and it lets your body do all the work to detoxify, all right? Here's what you do. Switch your diet away from ultra-processed foods to whole plant-based foods, vegetables, fruits, okay, uh, legumes, nuts and seeds, healthy oils. That will actually be tremendously healthy for uh, to help your uh, body overall, your health defenses overall um, uh, get better. Uh, cut out the ultra-processed foods and all those things that have artificial coloring, flavoring, preservatives, and additives and emulsifiers. All those things actually interfere with your uh, health overall. And uh, so less toxins in, uh, the faster you can actually clean, your liver can and kidneys can clean out the toxins that are already there. Stay diluted, all right? Drink water, tea, coffee. Those are all great ways to remain hydrated. The more fluid you have as part of the uh, start for your to help your liver push out and process those toxins and your kidney to eliminate them, the better it is. This might seem obvious to you, but our bodies are made out of 60% water, H2O. If you weigh 150 pounds, that means 90 pounds of you is actually water. That's about 11 gallons. Or if you want to actually translate that into the um, bottles of a beverage, that's 22 liter bottles of a beverage, your favorite beverage. Now, think about it. You have to maintain this amount of liquid in your body for your health every single day. Doesn't mean you have to drink it all. You're gonna keep a lot of it with you, but we all lose about half of the liquid every day through urine, stool, and our sweat. And of course, that depends on how active we are. If we're exercising and sweating a lot, we're gonna actually lose a little bit more. If we're going to the bathroom a lot, we're also gonna lose a lot as well whether that's urine or stool. Got diarrhea, you're actually flushing out a lot of water. And by the way, there is also evaporation from your skin and you lose about another half gallon invisibly through the humidified air as you exhale, right? So, you know, you go in front of a mirror, you go, right? You'll see that uh, uh, the fog on the mirror, that's water vapor that's coming out of your breath, all right? That part, the evaporation, uh, the, high, the humidity in your breath, when you lose that, that's called insensible loss of water. You don't even know it. All right, so you lose three quarters of a gallon of liquid every single day that you need to replenish. And drinking water is the best and easiest way to be able to do it. Water helps flush toxins. Now, let me explain to you. Whenever you drink water, it goes into your gut, all right? I'm going to do it right now. It goes right down. Water absorbed from the gut, okay, from your stomach and your intestines right into your bloodstream. And once it's in your bloodstream, right, you've got more liquid in your bloodstream, you've got more blood volume in your bloodstream, that fluid has got to get filtered. Now, the filtering takes place in two locations. The first location is an organ. It gets filtered in your liver, your liver actually is your body's detox organ, so the water gets filtered right out of there, okay? Anything that you flush through that water into your liver is going to get filtered, all right? So you're actually putting, pushing more liquid right through your detox system. 
when you drink water. And the second place that water gets filtered is in your kidneys. Now, your kidney, which is in the shape of a like a kidney bean, all right, located in your back, lower back, all right, on both sides of your spine, these are the filtering mechanisms of your body. You have a swimming pool that has a filter in it. That's what your kidney actually does. The more water you drink, the more filtering takes place because at the end of the day, the kidney helps to balance the amount of water that's in your bloodstream as well. So uh, think about the sink that you, like in your kitchen sink, you fill it with water. The more water you have, the more there is to drain and the more pressure there is to drain the, the sink faster. This is also going to help flush toxins out of your body. So one is that you're putting the, the amount of fluid in your body through your liver, which is a natural detox uh, machine. And the other one is that you're flushing the water right through your kidney and the kidney actually releases toxins and things uh, right out through the glomeruli. These are the little filtration units in your kidney. And then you just pee it right out. Okay. Reason number four you should drink uh, water every day is that it keeps your kidneys working in good shape. Now, as I just explained, water that you drink helps flush your kidney. And the kidney needs to be constantly flushed in order to be able to uh, stay in shape. I don't know if you uh, have a, a bathroom uh, in a house, uh, maybe that doesn't get used very often, or maybe uh, an extra house you have somewhere, a vacation home or something, or an apartment building. If you don't flush that uh, toilet, Eventually, the plumbing is going to get rusty, it's going to get flaky and crusty and dry out, and then eventually the plumbing is not going to be working well. Same deal with your kidney. Your kidney needs to be constantly flushed in order to stay in good shape. Use it or lose it, basically. And plus, your kidney does not like to be dried out. So that's why dehydration is really bad. If you got stuck uh, in a desert someplace and had no water, all right, and you crawled around, in addition to actually being parched and drying your blood volume out and your brain out, eventually your kidneys would fail as well. So drinking enough water replenishes your body with liquid, and then your body will flush that water out through your kidneys and you keep your kidney in good shape by, frankly, giving them a, a, a workout. So think about your kidney as part of the plumbing system. In order for your plumbing to work well, it needs to, it needs to have liquid water running through it um, uh, in order to, for the pipes to stay clean, uh, for the pipes to stay intact. Uh, uh, so basically, you're just, you know, taking a shower every day, flushing the toilet, running the sink. That's what's happening to your kidneys is you're, you're uh, using the and exercising the flushing capacity. Hey there, if you're ready to take control of your health using the power of food, then I encourage you to check out my Eat to Beat Disease online course. More than 4,000 people from 80 countries have taken it, and now they know how to eat to beat disease. And you can too. I personally developed all the material in this course, drawing from my latest research and my years of experience. It's designed to give you practical science-based strategies that you can use to boost your health every single day. To learn more, click the link below. The key if you're drinking tea or coffee, though, is avoid sugar sweetening them or putting additives, you know, when you go to your favorite drive-by and you order your pumpkin flavored, whatever, don't do that. Enjoy tea straight, okay? Uh, that's what you would do in a spa, do it on a detox diet, or coffee straight. Okay, if you wanna put a little bit of uh, something that cut the strong taste of coffee, use a nut-based um, milk, right? So almond milk, uh, oat milk, soy milk, those are actually fine, all right? Uh, and avoid soda. You definitely don't want to be drinking soda, whether it's regular soda or diet soda. Uh, just stay away from those when you actually want to clean out your body and help your body reset. Here's the other thing. Don't overeat. Don't overeat if you want to actually help your body clean itself out. All right. Stick to the uh, Confucian principle of hara hachi banmi. Hara hachi banmi is a Japanese saying com coming from Confucian principles, which means stop eating before you are uh, stuffed, stop when you're about 80% full. When you eat slowly and you, uh, you, and you pay attention to how your body feels, you'll know when you're about 80% full. So your hunger is satisfied, but you're not feeling stuffed. Leave before the party's over. That's actually the best way so you don't overwhelm your metabolism with calories. All right. If you want to push this a little bit further, try intermittent fasting. Now, we already do intermittent fasting every single day because 
when we're sleeping, we're not eating. When we're not eating, we're fasting. So we're always intermittently fasting. But if you actually want to push your health a little bit more, uh, you can actually try deliberate intermittent fasting. The traditional intermittent fasting program is 16 hours of fasting with eight hours of eating. Look, the research shows that if you just fast for 12 hours, half the day, and you eat for the other half of the day, which is a much more reasonable way actually to do this. That's something I can actually do. In fact, I do do that every single day. That's a healthier and easier, more practical way to actually practice intermittent fasting. All right. And when you're actually doing intermittent fasting, the key is that when you are uh, eating, you're going to be hungry. Don't overeat and don't eat junky food. All right. So this is a five part solution I just gave you. Uh, to actually help you detoxify naturally without having to go on someone's program, without having to get an enema, all right? This program I just gave you helps you cut out um, some of the harmful toxins so that you're not building up more in your body and let you take that time, gives your body the room to breathe to be able to do its own detoxification by dilution with fluid, with your liver working uh, uh, on its own to be able to churn out um, and get rid of all the toxins and from your kidneys to be able to pee out anything that you shouldn't be accumulating in there. This is the most natural way to detox. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Hey, if you like that video, then you're going to love this one. Check it out.